Frederick Young came to India at the age of 14 to take up a career in the British Army. His first years were spent serving the General Lake. In 1814, Sir Rollo and Lieutenant Young were sent to defeat the Gorkhas. A war between the British East India Company and the fledgling Kingdom of Nepal had been inevitable ever since the Gorkhas conquered the Kathmandu Valley in 1769 and began threatening the British interests in India. The Gorkhas' extraordinary heroics during the First World War certainly elevated these tough, wiry men to the status of mystical super-warriors. William Fraser, a Scottish cavalry officer and a political agent during the latter stages of the Nepalese War, proposed that the British East India Company assemble several thousand Gorkha prisoners and deserters into an irregular outfit that served for the company. Most of those recruited were not real Gorkhas, such as Kumaunis, Karwalis and other Himalayan hillmen. At this time, the British forces were slowly pushing the Gorkha army higher and higher into the mountains. In 1816, Lieutenant Young became the first British officer to command a regiment of Gorkhas when he was sent to raise a regiment at Sirmur in North India, some 150 miles beyond the Nepal's western border. The Sirmur rifles were the first Gorkha unit in the service of the East India Company who at the same time knew he would begin a civilization in the lower western Himalayas and today we call it Missouri. Landor is a small town located in lower western Himalayas in the Masuri range Uttarakhand. Landau was initially built by and for the British Indian Army. The first permanent building in all of Masuri was also built in Landor in 1825. The house was built by Captain Frederick Young, the discoverer of Masuri, who 
was also the commandant of 1st Gorkha Battalion raised by the British after prevailing in the Gorkha War. Young's house Malengar was the family home during the hot summers in the plains. Malengar finally fell into disuse after 1947 when Britishers began to leave India. A number of families now living in Malingar are Tibetans. Prayer flags flutter in the wind every day and Losar celebrations are held in the courtyard every year. Captain Young is also credited for the first plantation of tea and potatoes in the Himalayas. उसको मसूरी से सेपरेट लैंड ऑफ पिंजिक का नाम दिया तो जो पहले यहां पे बहुत साल पहले 50 60 साल पहले जो चिट्ठियां भी आती थी इंग्लैंड से उसमें ये नहीं लिखा रहता था मसूरी हां जी एड्रेस पोस्टल एड्रेस से होता था सो एंड सो लैंड ऑफ लैंड ऑफ सो दैट वाज इनफ एड्रेस टू ब्रिंग द लेटर्स टू सो एंड बाद में तो फिर मसूरी लैंड ऑफ एसोसिएशन भी साथ ही होने लगी लेकिन ये सबसे पहला उनका एक कन्वेलेसेंट सेंटर था लैंडर तो यहाँ सबसे पहले उन्होंने एक ब्रिटिश मिलिट्री हॉस्पिटल स्टैबलिश करा पीएमएच के नाम से पीएमएच जो आजकल आईटीएम आईटीएम हाँ जी डेट यूज्ड टू ब्रिटिश मिलिट्री हॉस्पिटल और इसको बोलते हैं डिपो जो पुराना नाम है डिपो ऊपर का डिपो इसलिए क्योंकि � from 1827, when a sanatorium was built in Landor, the town was a convalescent station for the military, and hence much of Landor is a cantonment. The original sanatorium is now occupied by the Institute of Technology Management. In the earlier 20th century, a full British military hospital was opened with the medical staff that specialized in tropical diseases. The hospital was closed soon after 1947. Most of the buildings belong to either military or to the state-owned broadcasters Doordarshan and All India Radio who have repeater stations at the top of a hill at over 7700 feet, the highest point which is an orange and white tower that is the most recognizable feature in all of Landor. Nearby Sisters Bazaar likewise referred to as the nurses dormitory at the location where nurses lived. A half dozen bakers in Landor still offer various breads, cookies, biscuits and cakes from famous the cookbook. Landor was also one of the first places in India where an American classic peanut butter was commercially made. So after the uh, Britishers left, then the, uh, came a period of missionaries. Missionaries. Missionaries took over all the properties which were owned by the Britishers. Mm -hmm. So, one base was made. अच्छा वो उसके बाद यहाँ पे सामान तो आना बंद हो गया है पहले तो इंग्लैंड से सप्लाई रहती थी वो सप्लाई बंद होगी रिक्वायरमेंट उनकी और इनकी प्रोटेस्टर्स की या मिशनरीज की एक ही थी खाने पीने की खाने पीने फिर हमने शुरू करा मैन्युफैक्चरिंग उन्हीं के टेस्ट का सामान उन्हीं की रेसिपीज़ ह� तो पीनट बटर, जैम्स, दरन रेलेश और चीज ये सब नहीं से सीख सके बना ले सकते हैं और अब तो क्या है वो सब जगह पॉपुलर हो गया है इंडिया में बहुत शॉप्स डेट लैंड और डी बाजार रिटेन्स यू सी डी बाजार केम अप लेटर डी फर्स्ट केम डी रेड रेड कोट्स डी ट्रूपर्स the yeah. British uh, troopers, you know, those who were unwell and they came and settled up here. They had a convalescent depot at uh, Sister Bazaar and uh, that's how the town began. And then uh, they ended up building the first church here, St. Peter's, at the top of the hill. And uh, then once the Goras came, the people from uh, nearby places, Saranpur, 
रुड़की रुड़की और उसके बीच के जो गांव हैं थाना भवन लंडोरा यू नो ऑल दीज गाइज हेरिट अप टू सेल गुड्स टू दी अंग्रेज अंग्रेज एंड दीज आर डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ दोज पीपल इन लैंडो बाजार यू नो टू हंड्रेड ईयर्स लेटर मोस्ट यू नो शॉप्स लॉट्स ऑफ शॉप्स ऑफ स्टिल गॉट द सेम नेम सेम सॉर ऑफ फैमिलीज रनिंग दैम एंड या and it's very progressive because of i think the international school here would start which start uh, you have 29 nationalities living here and uh, you know studying here so we say landos got a more cosmopolitan <laughs> Bazaar is cozy, small shops, vintage aura, the pristine markets will give you its own feeling. The bazaar of this bazaar is like time travel, walking down the fusty old road in new ages. The narrow road cuddled up with parked cars and street vendors and some building still brandish the old age architectural works palpitating the unchanged times. The best way to be pleased is to count the town on your steps, walk and live it. We were more charged as Landor is one of the places in India where Winter Line Carnival is celebrated and we were fortunate enough to experience its allure. हमारे दादा पर दादा बनाते थे यहाँ उसके बाद हम बना रहे तो मैं भी बना के बनाते हैं आपसे कोई तीस एक साल हो हाँ सारे ये एडमिट जो नहीं देन देन यू गॉट न्यू इटरीज दैट हैव कम अप चार दुकान की चार दुकान चार दुकान हो दस दुकान हाँ दस दुकान हो गई है ना पता नहीं चलता असली कौन सी हाँ दस हो गई हैं देस न्यू कैफे दैट्स कम अप दे देन नाइस इटरीज यू नो दैट्स व्हाट द किड्स वांट नाउ दैट्स व्हाट द यंगर जेनरेशन वांट्स यू नो दे वांट देयर ब्लडी मैगी नूडल्स है ना पिज़्ज़ास एंड मैगी नूडल्स नो या दैन यंग जेनरेशन एंड सो बी इट सो बी इट Oh, 
Church, beautiful Catholic church, uh, which was begun by Captain Young, and you have St. Paul's, which was for the troops that came here. Landor has four churches, two of them distinctly Indo Gothic in style, of the four, two remain very much in use. The St. Paul's Church, built in 1840 at Char Tukan, where Jim Corbett's parents, Christopher and Mary Corbett, married on 13th October 1859. Both had lost their spouses and would meet and remarry in Landor. It is very difficult to pray when you enter the church for the first time. You will be lost by the spellbound architectural exertion. Kellogg Church, built in 1903, once American Presbyterian. Lal Tibba is the highest point of Landor Masuri range, about 7,500 feet with a magnificent view of snow-covered mystic eminent peaks of the Himalayas. With a vintage binocular to experience the closest view, Landor offers striking views of the Garhwal Himalaya with a wide vista of up to 200 kilometers visible on a clear day. At its closest point, Tibet is about 110 kilometers away from Lal Tibba. 
फोटोग्राफर कम गाइड यहाँ पे आने के बाद आपको चार धाम की यात्रा हो जाती है सामने दिख रहा है हिमालय यमुनोत्री गंगोत्री गौमुख गंगा ये पूरे हिमालय कैप नजर आ रहे हैं सामने और इस सामने के बिल्कुल फ्रंट में हम देख रहे हैं नीलकंठ नंदा देवी चौखम्बा और आपका केदारनाथ बद्रीनाथ हेमकुम साहब ये पूरे के पूरे हिमालय रेंज नीचे से नजर आते हैं जितना रेंज मसूरी लाल टिपे से नजर आता है पूरी मसूरी में कहीं से नजर नहीं आता सर हाईएस्ट पॉइंट है मसूरी मसूरी का ये लाल टिपा आठ हजार फीट की ऊंचाई पर of celebrities living at this end of the town they seek timelessness and nothingness in the air of landor which reincarnates their creative abilities the window is open for all come and experience landor